How you doing? All right, so I'm going to end a debate once and for all on this. All right, so we're looking at my scooter engine here on my GY6. This is actually a GY6B, but same thing, same concept. There's a lot of people that are debating me right now on whether or not there's supposed to be vacuum going to this port that my finger's showing to. Right there. That's your breather for your valve cover. And there's a lot of people saying, oh, there's a one-way valve in there, and if you hook vacuum up to it, it's going to suck oil out and all other kind of crap. Because you're supposed to have vacuum to that. There's supposed to be a negative pressure on that hose. So this is a factory bike. This is a 100% factory bike, and it's, it, nothing's been changed. Okay, on, on this, this uh, positive crankcase ventilation system is what we're talking about. So I'm going to show to you and prove to you finally, once and for all, that the factory, from the factory, they have it there, and it needs to be there. And we'll show you, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the concept of what's going on here. All right, so you see that hose? Factory hose. Comes up. See it coming up right here. Comes around. Goes to the air box. Okay? It's right there. It's that bottom hose right there. Goes to the air box, right? All right. So there's a filter inside. There's a little sponge inside here. Comes from there. Goes up to this this hose here. All right. So this hose leads down into a T. This T goes off. You guys can see it back there. There's my charcoal can. Right there. Okay. So this hose leads off and goes to that charcoal can. And it tees off. And it comes down right here to the air box in front of the throttle valve, okay? When this valve opens, there's a negative pressure created in here from, it, from, the, from the engine through the intake and carburetor drawing air into the cylinder. As that air is drawn in, there is a vacuum created right here. On that port, right there. Furthermore, coming off of the intake, we have our main vacuum line. This vacuum line is actually, it splits off and it does a few different things. We can see down here uh, the, the vacuum line coming uh, up to here, to the tank and everything for the petcock, because right? he's a vacuum assisted petcock. So it draws vacuum for that. It also comes off and it goes, if we follow it, maybe if I get to the other side, I can show you it goes to the top of the charcoal can, and the top of the charcoal can has a mushroom-shaped uh, object on it. It says PCV. It's labeled PCV, positive crankcase ventilation. Okay, so all these tubes go to that charcoal can. I'll grab my drill here so we can pop this stuff off, and I hope I have enough battery to finish this video. I'm running at 11% right here. So let's go ahead and spin this side off of here. Quick, and I'll show you this valve. Okay. Just drop this down. All right. So there's the valve right there. Okay. There's your charcoal can. There's that little line coming from the the, the vacuum. And what does that say right there? Positive crankcase ventilation. It draw, puts a vacuum on this diaphragm, which then internally, if you look like I said, up inside of here, there's that hose that teed off to it. It opens this valve for the PCV valve. Coming off the other side of the vacuum port is the line right there that goes off to your fuel system and your petcock. There's vacuum on it. You can see it right here. We have a vacuum can, which is your charcoal can. We have vacuum on the valve. We have vacuum coming here. We have vacuum at the air box. There's most definitely vacuum on that line. You need to have a low pressure vacuum on that hose. The one-way valve that y'all are talking about inside the valve cover is the PCV. There's two of them. This is the diaphragm for it. There's one inside the valve cover as well. 
You have to have that. The reason you have to have that is because of the turbulence that's created inside the crankcase as, as the crank spins. It creates pressure. It creates a positive pressure. And if you don't have some kind of venting going on on that valve cover, that pressure will slip past your rings. So you have to have that. If you don't have vacuum on it up there, it can still get past the rings. The vacuum draws that, uh, those gases through another port in the engine, somewhere in the head, probably on this case, it's probably coming through the timing chain area, but it draws those gases through that vent. Those gases aren't just going to magically make their way out. All right. Many engine manufacturers in the 1950s, 1960s learned about this. That's why it's there. There's vacuum on it. This is a factory setup, and you can see clearly. There's vacuum on it. Right there. I'm not wrong. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye now.